What up guys, it's Lexi and in today's video I want to share with you the most common VTX and camera issues that can be repaired really easily. And I promise I'll keep it short and give you examples of how everything looks like so you can resolve all of your problems in a binge. Let's go. When it goes to vision issues, I think this is one of the most annoying issues you may actually have because everything works great but you cannot see anything. And troubleshooting them may be also kind of annoying because you never know, is it camera or is it VTX? So let's go for my list. If you see your FC's OSD on the black background, this is usually a camera issue. So either you had a really nasty crash that unplugged the camera cable from itself or the camera cable from the FC. Another thing that may have happened is that you need to check the cables. If they are loose or feel weird, or maybe if you are using one of the cables, the picture actually comes back. Some of the cables may break inside and you never know if it's really broken or not. So if you switch the cable and the situation is still the same, you will have to switch the camera because that means that camera is absolutely dead. Now, if you see your FC's OSD on the gray background, that may actually mean that the cause is not in the camera at all, but the cause is somewhere in the FC. Something may pop off, something may just get destroyed in the FC itself, since it's kind of, you know, outside there for the branches and everything to just scratch them. The easiest thing that you can check to see if it's really this issue is to connect your camera video cable directly to your VTX. If this is actually helping, that means that probably you lost your FC's OSD, but the camera is working. So if you really need to fly right now, this is the easiest thing and the quickest one that you can do. Now, another common issue is all types of lanes that you can see in your vision. So let's go through those. If you see weird squares all over your vision, this may actually be an issue caused by the fact that one of the screws is touching the motor windings. If you have a vision that looks basically like this, DVR, check out all of your screws if any of them is touching anything in the motor itself. The screws should be sticking a little bit out so you know that they are actually holding the motors, but they shouldn't be sticking too much and touching any part of the motor itself. If you see white lines in your vision, that usually means an excessive electrical noise that gets to the camera or VTX or actually both. Putting a capacitor on your ESC or your power cable usually fixes this issue. Black lines are usually low power related, which is usually caused by the really power hungry VTX. Some VTXs don't do well with step down voltage and they might struggle to deliver the desired output power. And if you are experiencing any type of black lines in your vision, you may actually discover that it's getting worse whenever you are on a higher power of your VTX. What you can do to fix it is to power your VTX directly from the battery if it's suitable for it, or you may have to switch your VTX because it's either faulty or destroyed. Since we are on VTX, powering VTX directly from the battery is really noisy. Nowadays, most VTXs have some kind of a filter that works for the power circulation within themselves, but also from the output 5 volt. Now on this side, FPV cameras have little to none filtering when it goes to this. If you want to eliminate the noise from your VTX and camera, you need the cleanest power possible. And this is where capacitors go to play. Not only capacitors, twisting the video and ground cables all together is actually acting like a natural filtering. So it's a really good thing to do. Not all of them, so not the red, black, yellow, but just the black and yellow cable, because that will get rid of a little bit of a noise. If your vision started to have really weird colors, such as greenish or pinkish, this may mean a couple of things. One, you have been flying for a long time and your goggles may be overheating, which is absolutely true and I don't know why is it happening, or that your camera is faulty and you had one crash a little bit too much. Word vibrations, even though you actually hear none, this may be caused by a loose lens. And trust me, this happens a lot. So be sure to always check if your lens is actually screwed in, because whenever you are flying, there are vibrations going on all over the quad. There's always a possibility that the lens or screws or whatever else is actually getting loose due to the internal vibrations of the drone, which are natural for, well, airborne. 
The same happens when your vision gets slightly blurry. It may be that your lens unscrewed just a little bit and now it gets you a little bit less of a focused view. So when you see something like this happening, be sure to land immediately because at one point you may actually lose the lens and looking for it is not on the top of your list of priorities. Trust me with that. Losing your vision after around like 50 meters or even less, this may be caused by a faulty antenna and trust me, pigtails and stuff like this can actually get broken internally and every time you crash, something may happen inside of the antenna itself or in the pigtail if you are using any. So be sure to check out if another antenna will actually solve the issue. If yes, then it was the antenna. If no, this may be a faulty VTX. I hope that this quick list of easy to spot and repair issues for vision has helped you a lot. And if it did, don't forget to leave this video a thumbs up to help me make algorithm happy and to share this knowledge with more pilots. Also, be sure to let me know down below in the comments if there was any issue that you didn't know about or never had, because not everyone had the same issues. You know, it's, it's kind of normal. So yeah. That's all I have for you today and I'm gonna see you in the next one. Stay awesome fam, bye!